<clears throat> I apologize for being late. This has been an unfortunately bad morning. Things are just not going good. I apologize. Um, once I get my groove going, I'll say something about uh, running the stream. But for the moment, <clears throat> I'm not. Okay. So, right now, things are... I just don't have enough stuff to list. I know this is shocking to you, but it's the truth. Shocking, shocking to me, really. See, I don't let anything go past 27 days, so I'll just relist those. You're too expensive, dubious, long fin, uh, repair, fame, fame. Unless it's over a hundred grand, in which case I let it sit. Dubious. Dooby dooby dubious. Oh, I'm not a long fan now. That's not good. Pearls aren't selling. I don't know why. All right, let's make you some long fin and then we'll head over, do some more listings while I wait for people to come on. Mm. Now I'm starting to sound like hammy. So, for those of you who don't know, I have um, rheumatoid arthritis. So, some mornings I just get the worst pain, and it's it's nothing per like it's nothing permanent. Like sometimes it's difficult, and sometimes it's it's not. Um, you know, it depends on the day, really, and that's why it's unpredictable for me. Part of the reason why I don't have a real job is because I'm afraid I can't keep can't keep up the the expectations you know like I'm gonna mess up like that and continually not show up for work because some days will be too bad to go to work and you know as a lawyer you can't operate like that obviously it's just not gonna work so I do the best I can given the situation, but it's not ideal. All right, the Empiric Runners, do you have one? Yes. You had the pearl, so we'll drop you down to 85 and a half. Spiral skein. I'll give you one of those. 11,000. Let's go with 11,000. Uh, Moongrave Fan? Sure. Now you're full. All right, ETU, Moongrave Fate. I know you had that one. We'll give you the rug. What about the other rug? Do you have the rug? No. You get the rug. Oh no, 28.4 was right. Okay. Divine design. You do not have the rug. Now you do. All right, and let's give Lucy in one more box of stuff. And then we move along because I don't have enough stuff to list. Actually, come to think of it, may. Just give me a moment. So I posted my um, my guide for Vivac, Vivac City, Steely Steely. Um, let me give you the link. If you have the uh, if you have Reddit account, could you please update me? I could really use it. Um, for some reason, the videos haven't been taking off as much yet, but yet, oddly enough, a lot of people seem to like them. So I'm really not sure how that's working out, but apparently that's what's happening. So I was hoping that you folks could could give it a little boost. Um, 
because people really do seem to like them even if they're not getting a great amount of updates. Don't ask me, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Give me a moment, I'm almost done. I don't like to multi-list like this, but what you gonna do when you don't have anything? What you gonna do with all that junk? You know what I like about this channel? About this, this stream? Is that I'm able to show my goofy ass self and no one seems to care. I can make those kind of jokes. I can make those references. I can sing the silly songs like I used to. And, and no one really gets, like, you know, what's wrong with you kind of stuffy going on, which is nice. Because I like to be a little weird. All right, let's do the clam galls, folks. Three more clam galls and off we go. Uh, I think we're going to be spending a lot of time on uh, EU today, I have a feeling. Thank you to, to, to M. Fabry, Dale Theon, although I think I said that during the stream, uh, Aegon65, and Dominia Sharif. Let me see if I can send you things, because sometimes I can, and other times I cannot. I would send somebody a, an axe, but I think it might send them the wrong message. Sorry I missed my morning time. I know it's terrible. Thank you. Thank you for the auto. Enjoy the fish. Thank you for all the fish. Wait, I'm giving you the fish. Dale Theon. Uh, Aegon 65. Or Egon 65. There we go. There's one. And Dominia Sharif. Could be Dominia alone, but we'll try this first. I would send potatoes, but oddly enough, people don't really sell a lot of them. I would have to make them. And that's a lot of wax. Species don't need wax. And I think, you know, why would you want a potato if you didn't ask for it? So, I don't know. I'm just weird. All right, here we go. Hub. Hub. Um, I can let people know that I'm streaming. Nothing more than streaming. All right, BMW. Hi, BMW. I'm streaming. Even though I'm late. We have contests still going on. Today is the 30th, which means that our dear Ms. Um, Sonia Plays had her contest today. I was not able to see it as I was sick this morning and I went back to bed because I was ill. Um, but I hopefully can catch it up later and see if I can catch the catch the replay and see what happened. I wanted to see those homes. Now I don't have to be so careful about guarding homes. I didn't want to give them away prior to Dreamer Automaton. Hmm. A lot of people getting dropped from you. Potato dice wheel. That is just the weirdest thing that there is in Lucian. <clears throat> There's such a big uh, potato following, and it has nothing to do with me, which is just odd. All right. Open houses. Uh, Xantharia says she fixed her rosy line, so off we go. Thank you for, for watching Xantharia and fixing it. I much appreciate it. As for contests, let us open the contests on the potato, on the potato, I'm going contests, okay. All right, we've got DDA, not safe for work, we don't know, PCEU, Aetherius behind the glass, one more day, housing's finest, 31st, one more day, bar or restaurant. Um, Nine six for Lucian and dis, dis something disgruntled unicorns or whatever the hell it is. I forget the name of it. <laughs> um, 
damaged unicorns or something. They've got the, uh, they've got a contest too for rainbows. Hey, Marley. Good morning. We're in Xantharia's, uh, Mara's Kiss, which is so nice and cozy for a tiny little place. 30 items. Look how full this looks. I have a feeling it looks this full because of the carpeting. I think the carpeting and the stuff on the walls has really helped fill this place out. I really like it. I think it looks good. Unexpected. Unexpected. Sorry. Still doing my thing. Still pulling stuff out and doing my thing, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but what you gonna do? Oh, I'm sorry, Aerie. Is it doing it to me? I hope not. That would be bad. I know that EU's having trouble. All right, let me see. I'm not seeing any any problems on my end luckily so if it happens it's just gonna be uh apparently i mean i don't know if it's related to the whole thing on eu but gina just said that i think it was gina just said that there's uh century link problems on that end and so they're going to be dropping link a lot and it's not their fault so maybe it's a similar problem i'm not sure i really like this Andrea. um Next moon sugar. Hey, didn't we just look at that yesterday? I'm thinking I'm losing my darn mind. I feel like I've seen all these. Let's go to Lovecraft's Death Spine Tattoo. Hey, Jay. I would like to speak to Jay's and Jelly's manager. Because I'm Karen. I kid, I kid. I kid, I kid. If you are not part of my Discord, please join it. I keep track of all the contests. I put up ideas. I post silly memes, including Karen memes, if, you, if you're into that. Here's the link. Uh, because I am Karen, so that's okay. Death Spine Tattoo. We've got EHT effects. Now remember... E, you only have 30 items in St. Dylan's, so what's a good way of expanding on that is EHT. You can always add other items with EHT. Now this looks, this is really clever, Lovecraft. It really does look like a tattoo parlor, doesn't it? Cool is that? What a, what a great job on a small house. You came up with an idea and you ran with it. Hey, Swanks. Really, really Clever, I love it. Excellent job. And it, and you know what? Affordable items you made this out of, for the most part. Really cool. That's fun. We'll head over to EU. I just wanted to give some love to over here. Tycho. Let's go to the sugar bowl. Oh, Tycho, open your sugar bowl. Ravenhurst. There we go. We can do a Tycho house. Sorry about this morning. Felt like crap. Uh, unpredictable RA is unpredictable. <clears throat> Plus, I've been down, still over the cat thing, trying to get past it. It's hard. Some days, man. Some days are harder than others. Psycho! We're going to your Ravenhurst. On we go. Ooh, you had an extra room. Okay, good to know. Always a good thing to know. But invite me back when it's done, too. But I do like how a lot of people do add this extra uh, wall to cover up the... A lot of them do it just to cover up the stairs. But I think it adds, like, an extra room, practically, by doing that. I like the car... The carpets listen to me i like the curtains it makes a, a place feel cozy and homey and legitimately just like a real house as opposed to not 
Okay, so you're gonna have a bedroom and a bath up here. That makes sense. And what's in your courtyard, if anything else? Uh, may I make a suggestion? Just like you did in your Black Vine Villa, build up. It's a gorgeous view. Make a little, make a little place to just sit or something. It's a, it's a gorgeous view for the, in this garden. So that's just a recommendation. Do with it what you will. But I think that you've got a nice start there and just make sure you invite me back when you're ready. Lavasi, thank you, honey. You didn't need to do it, but I appreciate it. Yes, we're doing housing. We're gonna go to Lady Kira's estate. Ash Bandicoots. Um, Corundum 2003, who I like their stuff. Oh, good, 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 good. Cause it's such a great house in the backyard for, for a patio. And a lot of people skip it. And I, I just haven't had any idea for that house yet. Right now it's scary shit storage. Maybe it'll be a scary house, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you could always move it over a little bit. I I, I was sick this morning, uh, Sphinx, so I didn't even stream at my normal time. I just started like about 15 minutes ago, so I completely missed it too. I plan to watch it on uh, later. I'm just so sick that I just can't. All right, so we've got Lady Kira's Escape. We've got stained glass effects, 13 effects. Got holes of the Colossus, which I think is the only one. I will come on a EU. Just give me a minute. I'm just going to finish up on these randos real quick. Randoms of the day. Huh. Or is, is this all? Oh, no. It's like a garden wall. What a nice mixture of... Uh, cherry trees and ginkgo trees and ivy and hedges and listeria this is that new gate nice new gate which is in this piece too nicely closable isn't that nice wow those are crown flowers and they look fantastic in there lovely garden lovely view of the house from here little i wonder those are not effects so those are actual torch bugs i always wonder when they're blue whether it is or not ah somebody making use of one of the new items that is the cardinal in progress painting so it makes you look like you're you're painting it right now a bird is eating my house See, I have this problem where my siding is a certain kind of wood that woodpeckers are attracted to, and they try to eat the bugs between the slats. So I have this, my house ends up being eaten by woodpeckers, which when I had Grant, he used to want to eat the birds, but this little guy just doesn't even notice. Oh, check this out, another new item. This crystal is one of the new items. And look at this little, little enchanted glade with with uh, nocturnal looking over it. Very pretty. I like the movement. That or someone sending Morse code, I just, you know. <laughs> Woo! Kitty! Oh, there's a lot over here. Is this the bath? Oh, what a beautiful hidden bath. Unexpected walls and unexpected slots and spots. Okay, that's a back entrance. I'm feeling like I'm missing stuff. So I'm going to be careful and come back to the house last, I think. Kitty just is booking. Got a little spot by the waterfall to sit, eat. Oh, what a great little balcony thingy. Very clever. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you guys hear the woodpecker? Spilled drink using the uh, saffron. It's a 
a woodpecker. Seriously. <laughs> it's a woodpecker. <laughs> He's eating my house. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How embarrassing. Good choice of the uh, uh, walkways to use to get down, though, because the, the, the limestone ones really suck because they to eat up so many slots. I mean, they look really pretty, but... He's moved to a different section, so it's a, like a higher sounding tone now. Nice little dock. Well done. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen anybody put fish in that before. <laughs> However, the uh, wood, Woody the Woodpecker does. I missed my rant. He would be trying to eat that thing. I like the chair being pushed back. It's good for fishing, I think. Oh, and look at the little fishing rod holders. They're the Argonian uh, chimneys. Clever. People padding around. You got this guy. It's just like... Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop I like that we can have multiple things padding around. There's a little boathouse over here. Nice. Well, at least the fish is dead. There's a crab. This is a beautiful dock. Somebody here, I get the sense, likes fishing because there's a lot of true, true looking details that I think somebody who doesn't know anything about docks wouldn't have added. I feel like it's a legit person who knows what they're doing. It isn't a big impact, and there's a lot of potential for it, and I look forward to it. To playing with it. See Unicorns! Oh, they used the mud crab as ice for a cooler. That poor mud crab. I have a sense of humor today. Today, I've just been a goofball. So I guess you just enter the house from that side entrance. I hadn't thought that that was where, or maybe from below? No, from the side entrance. Okay. In we go. This front room with the flowers is a nice way of dealing with it. Okay, so we've got the effects are window panes. And I think it really makes it seem like it's glass instead of just a regular little spot. So they've made a tower, is what they've done. Oh, is that a an aquarium? Fun. This is beautiful. Ah! I've hit the I've hit the wall here. So this is just the aquarium portion. Not just, as if that's like an, a normal thing. Next part of the tower, we've got the balcony view. Quite nice. Over the waterfall. Check that view out. Isn't that beautiful? I'm sure I did. What a gorgeous view. Isn't that lovely? Oh, extra, extra sections on the fireplace. Stuff in the cubbies, pleasing. Oh, I like this. The the the. I've seen this a couple of way, places. <clears throat> These cabinets put on their side are actually really cool. They they use a lot less space, and you can stack things more believably in them that way. I really like it. Not the top of the tower, but it looks like it. What a gorgeous view. Beautiful. Open up. We've got the bedroom and a kitty. And he's playing with stuff. And Tuwaka's kitty. Is that Tuwaka's kitty? I think so. And they get to eat rice and water and they have their little beds. 
Look at the little beds. Clever. I do like the little beds. Beautiful. Beautifully done. I love it. It's gorgeous. And it's it screams your personality out. It screams that you made a place that you wanted to be happy. And I think I think this place would make me happy. Very much so. All right. Lots of cool stuff in this. I mean, really, lots of cool stuff. Just don't want to see if I missed anything. I think I got the rest of it. You're a barrel rack thingy. I don't know what that means. Huntings, and then we'll head over to EU, okay? Because I only just got started because I was sick this morning. The bird has ceased eating my house. So yeah, this is one of those, uh, I actually looked this up and apparently it's a thing that <clears throat> these birds do. Um, for my particular kind of siding that they don't really make anymore because of that. And uh, so that's a problem. Hold on, adding to my collections so that I can, sh so people can see um, ma, 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 ma ad videos. Stabbing and Vivek. That is it. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. And you go up here. And then we hit. Save. And then we is done. Thank you. <clears throat> now that should show on my main page. Good. Lots of uh, administrative work when it comes. Hey, Bayushi. Lots of administrative work when it comes to doing a stream, more than you might think. <clears throat> All right. Beautiful blue path. Lovely new flowers. New coral. This is very enchanted looking. This is hunting's. Hunting's. Whoa! Zoom! The one is zooming, the other one's just walking. Interesting, I wonder what the story is. I love how, you know, you can look at these things moving now and you can kind of tell a story. Oh, wow, we're gonna go up there, cause why not? Oh, how lovely, this whole thing seems so enchanted. 600 items, no effects. Hey, MDM. We are looking at uh, Alala's beautiful uh, Huntings, which now that I remember the name, I believe Alala has an amazing earth tear too. I may be wrong, but I think so. Is that intended to jump on? Poof! I probably would have been safer jumping in the water <laughs> if I had aimed right. Oh, look at that. I've never seen anyone make that into a, uh, like a chair before. <clears throat> That looks like a great chair when you sink the stuff down. That looks great. Well, I mean, I guess it is a chair, but you know what I mean. Sun, sun lounger or something like that. Oh, I didn't realize that was a water lounger out there. Man, you got lots of choices of where to lay. And you can read. And you, oh, there's a pupper playing volleyball with another pupper. That's funny yeah that water bed <clears throat> looks like it's in water right it's perfect and we have a dock thinger swim up a uh, bar with to this pathing through it that's clever as hell look at the detail right <clears throat> alala went to the trouble of trying to put this right on the edge she may have been a little bit over but she wanted it right on the edge so that it looks like the person who's, who's, you know, swum up is drinking it. Ah, sorry, my view flipped and it wasn't me doing it. 
Um, and then you've got all the snackies. More snackies. I'd be over here with the bread and cheese. Sorry. And we're cooking. And we've got fishies. And we've got barbecue. This is a lovely place. I would truly enjoy this. You can fish. You can enjoy the coral and the other pretties down there. It is. It's cozy. It's very uh, resorty to me. And then the pool ha is the moon pool buried in it, which is lovely. And then we'll go up the tower. This is where you change, I suppose, for the pool or the ocean. Pundings Tower. Oh, it's an observatory. And what looks like it could be a uh, lighthouse. And you can look out. Tele little telescope as well and what they have she has completely closed off this portion of their house so you don't you don't end up uh, dealing with it at all she can have everything outside with her little resort and isn't bothered by the house itself <clears throat> and a little fountain over here and this becomes the the leftmost edge which is the end of the uh the beachy portion so it looks great completely turned it into what you want it to be rather than it being what they gave us which is always so much my kind of thing to do too i i love it and i really like the choice of plants that you've made because some of these are my fav favorites all right i promised i'd go over to eu so i'm off to eu Although I have read that EU is having trouble this morning, so if it's having trouble, we'll have to come back, but... Boo! Hiss. Boo, hiss, hiss. Okay. So. Hold on. Let's go over to you. You're the trouble? Nah. No, it's something up on um both servers lagging like there's no tomorrow, but not in houses. Okay. I was told that it that people are having login troubles. So that could be it. That I saw. But I could be wrong. work on my uh, chat box settings because it, it doesn't last very long when you guys say something. You'd think it would leave it up until you finish what you're saying, but for whatever reason. Hold on. Theme. I don't know. Ah, here we go. Always show messages. That's it. That way you guys don't, when you say something, it doesn't just go off the page, which is odd. If you don't catch it fast enough, like that's not cool. Uh, this is my newest video. If you have read it, could you updo me, please? Duding needed. Which is to say, upload me. Yeah, you're staying up there now. Which is fine. Oh, I got my beard. Not that it matters, because I'm a female character. Which house, Lavathi?
I'm gonna dance until you tell me. More not, okay. No shame, I tells you. I has no shame. So yeah, that's my, oh, somebody just downvoted it. That's great. Hey, Loa. Uh, yeah, so I'm working really hard to get more attention to that stuff, so. Stabbing in Vivek City. We'll do others. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't see anything and then it all loaded in, so I'm like running over to the deer and it's like, <laughs> Holy crap, everything just loaded up. Holy smokes, and there's a zombie here, and there's you up there on the bridge, and this is Mornoth. And my bird is back. I apologize. Whoa, dear. For those of you just joining us, that is my woodpecker eating my house. There is a woodpecker, well, Actually, it's probably a bunch of woodpeckers that like to eat my house. Hey, Arduine, because uh, I have wooden siding that is of a certain brand so treated that bugs actually still, so lack of treating, I guess, when they put it up, that stuff is uh, tasty and bugs are right underneath the surface. We need to reside. And <clears throat> because of that, yes. Yes, the wood outside perhaps has parasites, which means that woodpeckers are feasting on my house. No, I got what you were saying. You were picking on me. I get it. What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, sorry. Totally getting turned around here. Hi! Oh, Griffin, going right on by. Ooh, Lavathi, you know what this reminds me of? You did a house that was basically, oh, you're welcome, you're welcome. Uh, just the entrance of, was it Hackfields or something? There was something where just the beginning and it was like this little town uh, vignette to use Jemima's word. Um, and it was so cute, but this reminds me of that. And you had to make it small because you had so many items in just a small space. This is gorgeous. It's like your own little spot in the woods. That was ha Hackfields? Okay, so let me point out to everyone. I can't remember words, but I remember which house Lavathi had, what, a year ago? <laughs> I don't get my memory. My memory is so bizarre. What a gorgeous view out here. You know what, Lavathi? I think I have screenshots of the previous build you had out here. I guess my priorities are clear. F words, remember Lavathi builds. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, poor birdie. Oh, nice couch. I feel like you centered a lot of this around the boat view, which is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I took a really pretty picture of your last house here. It's, it's actually in a specific folder that I call pretty because I loved it so much. Um, hold on. I'm going to show everybody and embarrass you. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you'll be embarrassed by a gorgeous thing that you made, I'm sure. That's part of it, if you can see. No. No couch. That is part of it. I believe there was a second part of it where it was... I was looking through a spot in the wall, and I took another picture. Oh well. I don't know where I put it. Ah! This is not it. This is a different one you did. Where was this? This must have been Shadowfen. <laughs> 
guys. That is uh, Mr. Potato. <laughs> you know it's bad when they use your siding as an example in the county extension booklet. Pamphlet. Yeah. Shush. This is gorgeous. Yeah, Andy, they can hear the woodpeckers when they're going. How embarrassing is that? Makes me want Grant back. <sighs> Beautiful. Did I miss anything? Show me, show me, show me if I missed anything. A little wood area? Yeah. So are you, are you a uh, survivalist? Do you have everything you need? Oh, I did miss this. Holy crap. I completely missed this portion. Very nice. I like a crafting area. Yeah, all you need is a little bit of food growing. Actually, you have fish and and you have animals out here that you, you could have venison by deer. Well, yeah, that would make sense. You could eat griffin. It is. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Lovati, you know I love your stuff. I'm a big fan. Thank you for letting me see this. And I can't believe you just made this yesterday. You're like, yeah, let me just build this entire gorgeous place yesterday. Reminds me of like an Italian villa up in the mountains or something. It's just stunning. And all these new materials, folks. These are all new materials from Solitude. Beautiful. So much more natural, right? All right, moving on. Can't just live in a Lavathi land for the rest of our lives, as much as it sounds delicious and nice. Yumi J's Sithis Shrine. Thank you again. At least it stopped. Jeez. Stupid birds. Stupid birds. Woodpecker. You guys know, I, you know, up until I moved out here to Wisconsin, I had never seen nor heard a woodpecker. Wisconsin has brought it to me. Same with owls. I'd never seen or heard an owl in real life. Sithis Shrine. Yumi J. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. My mouse keeps flipping. Let's see if I can stop that. Look at this creepiness. We've got effects. I'm going to guess one of them is making it dark in here. What a creepy ass shrine. Ooh. There's the heart. Ooh, Kanzari's naughty. What is the other effect I would like to see? My hoodies are back right now. Darkness and dark. Okay, they did both. Oh, I didn't hear them last night. Ooh, very nice details. 91 items two effects. Looking good. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I tried to stream this morning, but I felt like crap. All right. Zolo Gamers, Arenthia's House, Stride Springs, not open. I felt like such ass. I had to go back to sleep. All right. Sleepy Nord Inn, Cyrodelic Strike 4. A lot of people with permissions problems today. I am low on coffee, Mr. Potato. This is low. I passed out early last night, I think. Cooking stream. You know, I've watched a few of those cooking streams. Um, recently, there's one, one, a couple of people I follow actually have weird streams, like drawing on stream and, um, with a special, you know, pad and whatnot. Oh, wow. Holy smokes.
I mean, wow. That face just melds right into there. I had no idea that that could happen. The Sleepy North Inn. I'm sorry for my camera, it keeps flipping around. I tried hitting reset on my mouse, but it's still flipping. So we got a little place to eat out here. Look at that pane in, in the window. And then that looks fantastic. And then they melded Iskramar into it, the background too. And this is just a little stables. This is fantastic. I love the work with the new materials. This floor is one of the new materials and they've created an enormous house in Cyrodiilic. This is enormous for Cyrodiilic. Cause Cyrodiilic has this teeny tiny little house. And now you have all of this space inside. This is incredible. I'm sorry. Another sculpture put into the wall to make it look like it's part of the rock and they match exactly. Really good that the statues all match. So now that you can do things with them. Huh. That's like one of those stands and a dwarven table. I, or no, that's just a wall with planks. Wow, there's some creativity in here. Some real creativity. Yeah, so Caffeinated and I were pointing out on the, well, it's mostly her, on the um, forums that the new dwarven furniture does not match the rest of the dwarven furniture. In fact, this table looks completely different from the rest of it. And so that was pointed out on the forums and they said, oops, that was not intentional, we'll fix it. So apparently we're gonna get a fix for that because that doesn't match any of the rest of the dwarven furniture and it makes a lot of things look kind of dumb. Good use of the wheel too. It looks like you're in the midst of fixing it. And uh, let's go inside here with the new, the, I don't know why they gave us half poles instead of full poles. I don't really get that because what do you do when you want two of them? You flip the other one? Well, I've tried that and it looks stupid. So here's the main Cyrodiilic house. It's gonna be teeny as it is. So look at how small this house is compared to the additional house that they added. This is fantastic. Excellent job. Yeah, it doesn't make sense because I've tried it as, uh, I had it for a while as posts for my own house that I was trying on PTS and they just don't match. I'm, I'll go back to Captain Invader when I have energy for that. Uh, the, the twin arches. Raziel. Summer house. Summer house, I'm assuming. To say. Wouldn't you two want it to be a winter house? Because you're going to the desert. You would think that you'd go to the desert in the winter. And in the summer, you would go home. And you would be a snowbird then. What do I know? Not much. All right. Here we go. Um, so we have this beautiful home. Nice gardening in the middle of an of a dust storm. Dust storms are really not good for housing. They do not do any favors for houses. This must look gorgeous at night though. With all of these lovely little glow plants. This is a fun house to decorate, but with one one caveat to that. It can be nice to use a 200 item house. You can make some really beautiful, cozy little homes in here. But the caveat is it's extremely hard to light, especially if you try to stick with just those sconces because they don't give a lot of light. So you end up adding more and more lights and it still seems dim. So my suggestion to you is twofold. One, you can uh, make it a 
dark brotherhood home, which the dark or a vampire home or a, you know, a werewolf home or something that lends to the dark. By the way, the shelves look great. Um, that lends to the darkness feeling. And that's initially what I did. I initially made it into a dark brotherhood home and I think it really works for the darkness. The second thing you can do is to keep this lighting, which is mood lighting and it's important and it adds ambiance. Still, you can hide a clockwork light either in the walls, the ceiling or the floor, wherever you need it to go. It lights everything up in an ambient way but you can still have your candles. Really? I'll test that out. So it looks great. I, I really like your, your job here. And I think you lit it really well. Just by adding extra lights was a really good touch. Alright, let's go test that. If it's, if it's a real problem for me that I can reproduce... I will uh, send it along to Ham, Hammy, Jesus Christ, Hammy wouldn't care, ha send it along to Cardi. I am able to, they did, the UI would be different, what did they do to it? Did I miss that in the post-it notes? Okay, so that probably did it. That probably messed things up. All right. I'll just do the command anyway. And then when it doesn't work, I'll send it along as a video. Uh customization hide grass yeah not working anymore all right thank you for pointing that out I'll send that along to Cardi thank you so that'll that'll help boo hiss To mess with EHT, I'm assuming. <laughs> All right, Raziel, we did. Pikus, we did a haul though. Um, Falafi, Lunial Greenleaf. Actually, let's do the Sugar Bowl, Lunial Greenleaf. I like Sugar Bowls. Well, folks, if you haven't, it would mean an awful lot to me if you give me a follow. I'll never ask you for money. I don't even care about the money. Um, so don't ever feel obligated to sub. What I care about is getting enough follows to have Zoss listen to me. So if you are watching, it would mean a lot to just drop me a follow if you haven't already. Drops are on. No, no, I haven't, Co C Code. I didn't know you were on. I was going to go do it. Thank you for the follow, Susie. Um, I'll go do it right now after this. I didn't know you were on. I was waiting for you. Okay. So, why does this look so familiar? Did I visit this before? I seem to remember the couch with the little guy on it. But maybe, maybe I'm getting confused. I mean, I liked it when I thought I saw it the first time, but it's a little skooma den, and, and you know who is up to some mischief. You can only have 30 items, so it's very limited what you can do, but given what you can do, it tells a little story, doesn't it? it tells a story that Parari has issues and likes potatoes. <laughs> All right, let's go to Seiko's house. I skipped it because I didn't know Mushroom Manor if he was on. And off we go. I like the curtains too. Adding curtains can really make a place seem so much more cozy. Same with carpets. Susie and the pussy cat. It's Josie and the pussy cats. I'm just being a butt. So no cat yet. One of the cats I was looking at, Tessa got 
uh, pre-adopted, meaning that her application's being published. I'm still uh, debating Chester and Fergie. They are right here, in case you wish to see them. This is Mushroom Manor in C code, and it looks like J Hard is seen, but luckily I have not spoiled it for myself. So we've got hedging walls and beautiful little uh, pathway of Telvani lights. And then right by the door, we have a little snack station with booze and bread and cheese, which I would sit here and eat all morning. Hey, Jemima! And noms. I used your word earlier. Uh, we went to somebody's house and I said, oh, it's a, like a vignette, just like Jemima uses the word. And uh, it's like a little bit of a shout out to you, but you weren't here yet, so boo. Hey, that's a good way of handling this plant because usually it drops in singles and it looks weird just to stick it all by itself. But if you put a couple of them together, that actually looks really reasonable. Like it looks like a bush almost. That gives me ideas. Look at that construction. Oh my God, I'm gonna take a picture of this. This is cool because it is architecture, but it's made completely out of mushrooms and some reeds. I love that you use the Azure light at the top. It makes it look like there's a pool up there. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. We'll take a look at the rest of stuff before we head on up though. It is a good word. We got the horsies chilling. So I know this one's named Sweet Roll. What are the other two named by Zoss? Cause I know they have names. And this is where you pray. I have never owned the other two animals, so I don't know what they're called. But I know that there's, that Sweet Roll has a name. The sorrel horse, when you mouse over it, it says sweet roll. I was just curious. They all have names, like this is Deep Red, this is Destiny, this is Violet, this is Blue Streak, this is Bent Horse. Oh, it tells you, Starlight, Chomps, and Rambler. I didn't realize you could look at the ones you didn't have. Okay, cool. In we go to the giant shroom. That's an expensive shroom lump. So you used probably the shield or the landing pad ones. And I think both of those are quite expensive. Itchy nose, hold on. I didn't expect there to be such a big interior. Look at that. That's lovely. Jack Sparrow. We've got a little second eating place for those in the know, those of you who are allowed in here. You have to be important. I gotta ask, Seacode, who do you imagine living in here? Is it just you? Is it you and guests? Is it a character of yours? Is it an RP thing? Like, who do you have living in here? This is gorgeous, though. We've got almost all dark elf and Telvani. Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful that looks. How perfect is that? I never would have guessed that those sofas looked so perfect together. It looks like it was meant to do that. I kind of want to steal that idea now. Oh my gosh, you did it again equally beautifully. That's stunning. Oh, a Hlalu Scholar. Okay. That makes sense with the map spread out. And the books. And the study area. And he's studying the map as it twirls. Yeah, it does please it, doesn't it? It is so nice to have this beautiful arch 
And then when you want to take a break, you sit in your throne and relax. Then the dark elf um, imagery also makes a lot of sense because you've got, you know, a Hulalu scholar. That makes sense. And it doesn't end here, I can tell. Uh, there looked like there was another little section that I may have missed. Or did I not? Oh no, it is hinted here. Can you get up to that top portion? Or is that off limits? Is that like, you can't go to the shroom? You can't handle the shroom. Sadness. It's beautiful. It's, it's honestly the biggest and the most impressive uh, shroom house I've ever seen. And I've seen quite a few. Um, most of them are little, you know? This one is just huge and imposing and cool. And I like how you edged it with the hedges so there can be no doubt about where you're supposed to go and where you're not. It's really good. Uh, you know who did it once? I have some, I had some pictures. I think they're gone now. But Wubin had initially had a mushroom house in his earth tear. He's since replaced it. But I thought it was really cool because I thought it was like a really neat um, roof. At the time, I hadn't seen anything like it. So I had taken a lot of pictures of it. But it's long since gone. I think I probably deleted them thinking that that they, he would keep it and then I'm stupid. Don't ever assume that anyone's gonna keep their build because generally they don't. So if you see something you like, make sure you screenshot it. That's why I have such a big collection of screenshots because people change things. No, this is perfect. This is perfect and it's beautiful and you did a great job. Thank you for showing it to me. All right, my God, the number of uh, of holes of the lunar champion intensify behind the glass lounge. Oh, that must be for the contest. But they have judges, so we can look at that. Ample domicile. Um, this is probably for that contest. But uh, yeah, I had uh, well, I had done redone Telgalen with the huge mushrooms as as like floors on the outside and it worked but I wasn't happy with how it looked in the end and I ended up just scrapping it which I rarely do some photos still exist but for the most part it was a failure I have have not yet decided what I want to redo that as intensify this reminds me of. I saw somebody else did one with an aquarium. Ah, this is an aquarium. So of sorts, I think. Or not. Oh, look at that wall. Nice. We got a bar here. And what are we looking at? We've got Welcome stones, mushrooms, spooky area. Huh, they left the house in. I wonder what the house is meant to be. What, what are we looking at in terms of the house? Like, what is that? I can't explain the story in my head. Oh, waterfall with... We must be in Underreach, or not Underreach, uh, we must be in Blackreach. We look up and there's a roof. Yes, we're in Blackreach. That's where we are. That makes a lot more sense now. And actually using the Sigic pets is brilliant. And I should have realized it from the pictures on the wall because I'm a dumbass. Well done. Yeah, I can see it. I definitely can see it. Good job. No effects, just pure 
black reach. That guy fits right in. Beautiful. I didn't think that was going to work. Black Vine Villa Aya TSS Rumer. TSS. Oh, wow. Aya, wow. All right. So this is a ship. Obviously. TSS. Look at that way she nuzzled that in right, nudged, nudged that in right there. So the mechanics are working behind the pieces that you see. That is really impressive. And there's on the door you have this little circular thing so it's you can imagine you're turning the crank or whatever when you're opening the door so this is the exterior of black vine villa turned completely mechanical this is amazing i like how you did this with the single uh book thing and with the clockwork panel in front of it that really looks cool Oh, wow, what great bunk beds. Those are fantastic. And this is your sink and stove, probably a dishwasher. Using the, um, wow, you spent a um, die stand for this, but it looks good. Can't say that I blame you. Reminds me of course, of a ship. Um, just the little submarine bunks and stuff. This is neat. Aya is quite talented. This isn't her usual style, which, wow. I wonder if this is for behind the glass. Holy smokes, is that beautiful. What a view. All right, so let's dissect this, shall we? We've got a bunch of those little glow arm things. We've got the orb in the middle is the cat's eye orb. And then inside of that is the abyssal pearl. And behind that, we have one of the uh, dummies. The one that has goes, Om. I forget his name. That's the Dwarven Star Map Antiquity and I'm guessing that what we're seeing with the rushing water is actually upside down waterfalls. Um, I'm guessing. Now that's brilliant. Putting that psychic light inside one of those moving pieces, which is, I believe, in part, we have the music box. Wow, that is so smart. That almost looks like a joystick right there. You know what? I don't know what that is. What is this? Does anyone know what this is? The pieces with the cords? It does not look the least bit familiar, these cord bits. I can't put my finger on it. Beautifully done. We got Daedric Rock, Coral. Um, I think this is that little... Wow, I can't even place everything. Look at all the buttons. Those are those games. You know the games, that the Nordic games? They just buried them in there and it looks like buttons. Um, wow. Beautiful. 
Beautifully done, Aya. I should not be in the least surprised. Oh, a periscope. She built a periscope. Wow. Really, really skillful. Really, really amazing. And leaves me with questions, which is just a sign of... Oh, I know what it is now. That's a mirror. Those are all mirrors, I think. That's a hand mirror. And that might be the back of one of the solitude mirrors perhaps i can't i can't quite get in there to see but it looks like it could be like an invisible back like is there something missing a back no that's something else i just don't know what can't put my finger on it aya tell me what this is later these these curvy bits that look almost like rope I need to know. Oh, and I want to imagine that this guy is actually steering the ship. He's he's in charge. <laughs> Not us. It's him. Awesome. 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 Love it. One of wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Alright, let's do the colossal Captain Vader Skyreach Runner. Colossals, but <sighs> we'll do the colossal. Maybe this person will have done it in such a way that it won't annoy me. Right? 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 No, you don't think so. I don't think so either. Oh, Ula, what a cute bleppy. What's your kitty's name? Out of 700. Oh, screw you, hippie. No way. This is an entire uh, jumping, jumping. Oh, my lord. This is a parkour. No. No, Stabby, don't parkour. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, my lord. The whole thing. The whole thing. I mean, it's amazing to look at, but there is no way. I can't even walk straight. You expect me to do parkour? That's funny. This is really cool for people who can do it. Some of this doesn't even look like it could work. I don't know how some of those jumps could be made. Oh, cute. Some of these jumps don't look like they're possible, but I'll, I'll trust you that they are. Oh no, we not doing this one, sorry. Not happening, my bads, but not happening. Uh, let's do Homerian's Riminum, wait, have we seen it? No, because he calls it a Rimen apartment in the Hall of the Lunar Champion, an apartment? Sounds small, so let's see if he closed off parts. Does anybody need to know anything? Do you need any instruction on EHT stuff? Do you need any help with anything? So go over there, silly. Have an EU character like me. It's an open house. You can go do it. That's what I do. Oh, pretty. Load up. Load up. Rough Riders, load up. Oh, we have effects in here. All right, it is an apartment. They have everything closed off. How do you delete an animation? It should be as simple as uh, scenes. You would load one and then see where it says delete you would instead of hitting load you would hit delete that should be how that works hopefully that answers your question did that not work is it broken if it's broken tell me and i'll i'll see if i can reproduce it Ooh, 
nice little uh, aquarium. This whole thing is a cute little apartment. 244 items. Funding. Housing is expensive. Well, I mean, the way I do it, honestly, is uh, not the way I've been doing it lately because let's go back over to NA if we're going to talk about money. Um, here's the problem I've been having with Oh, no, it's okay. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Swanks. That's what I'm here for. Don't feel bad. Um, lately, and we'll, we'll do a little talking about money because right now you should know some things. So we have that new event starting on the 3rd, right? Another PVP event. What that means is if you're buying to flip, stop buying to flip anything that is from pvp meaning don't buy to flip siege masters uniforms don't buy to flip slaughter stones don't buy to flip um this is in general there's exceptions uh the motifs that come from it don't forget to not do that however there are exceptions if it's low enough you may want to grab them and you may want to grab the hakaijo and stack them and sort sit on them for a while that is if you have excess money if you don't have excess money don't do it but uh you may find that you know animus stones and hakaijo are cheaper now that you may want to just sit on them for like two three months after the event and then just pop them up for a huge huge increase um that would be an option but just remember you know because you're going to get stuck with some stuff at and maybe sell it at cost, unfortunately, because of picking, if you pick up stuff that's unfortunately like, um, I have a Siege Masters uniform or hat or something that had been sitting on the form, on the trader now, and now it's pretty much not going to sell. But I had it for like a month before the event. It just didn't work out. Um, just some things to keep in mind. Secondly, everything is selling just list shit if you have extra stuff uh in your in your bags list it if you have you know even lock picks list them if you have trash pots list them if you can everything's selling things are like insane and i can only imagine that it's going to get worse with the event meaning pots food um anything like experience wise anything like that anything that they're going to need consumable is worth making uh for pvp because that's coming up and those pvp tests are going to go into place which means you're going to get they're going to get an enormous boost in uh ap etc and when that happens they're going to be pvping almost non-stop because they're going to have three weeks of that Oh my goodness, thank you, UESP. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. We're sitting here talking about uh, what you could do for the upcoming events and money-wise. We uh, Thank you so much, much appreciated. So appreciated, please give me a follow if you, if you haven't. Um, I'm desperately trying to get up to a thousand and it's, it's been a slog. So I'm see, please, I appreciate it so much. I love you guys. Um, thank you so, so much. So we're talking about money. We're talking about how with the, I'm going to repeat some of this guys. I'm sorry. Uh, with the upcoming event on the third, uh, which is the PVP event, what you're going to want to have on the, on the sales, you know, for listings is consumables. You're going to want even trash pots. If you have them, you want to list them. You're going to want to, to make potions, anything, any kind of potions that PVPers use. Um, you're going to want to put up, um, poisons that they use. You're going to want to put up food drinks. You're going to want to keep them stocked because you got to remember we've got three weeks of PVP testing coming up in which AP is doubled and other benefits are going to happen and they're going to make use of it. So if you want to get rich, that would be what I would do. I would absolutely stock up your slots with consumables and everything is selling right now like crazy. 
so like spicy for the third week in a row has hit a third um, record on NA. So like everything is selling. I've been putting up, you know, lock picks and they sell. Um, hold on a second. This is this is my trade while we're standing here. Oh no! It's broken again. I gotta fix it later. Um, my stuff always gets broken if I don't relink it, I just realized. So yeah, that's that's all of the uh, stuff going on in selling. If you have specific selling questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, allow me to fix that. Allow me to fix that. Right. Everything. It's like people have weird, weird, like, what are you using this for? Like, <laughs> hi, give me a follow if you don't mind. I'll never ask you for money. I just desperately need, uh, I need the follows to get up to 5,000. So I muchly appreciate it if you do. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Hi, job. Get you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on is, uh, you know, for money. Now, if you've done um, EHT at all, you'll know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to link these real quick so that the train looks right, but unfortunately the indural canister is just a pain in the ass. So. Now it should all work. If I didn't screw it up, I haven't really been paying attention. So there we go. Now I'm actually linking in the base game. This is not being linked in anything else. Uh, in EH2, we're going to load up the train setup and we're going to go revert to last save. It's going to go OK. Boom. And then it did it wrong because I had them linked. Sadness. There we go. Alright, let's see the train go, see if it works better this time. Nope. <laughs> They're not. They're not fixed. <laughs> I put the wrong one. Regardless, I'll fix it at some point. But the point is, is that I made the wrong one, um, the lead. I'm a dumbass. I did link it, dummy. Oh, they're fixed now, so I can use EHT? All right. I'm gonna unlink them all, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'll fix it later. Anyway, this is my train set, and it does work occasionally. But what we've got here is this is where the Ashlanders are. This is uh, the mountain. This is the, the fiery mountain. This is supposed to be Balmora or Talgalen over here. And this is supposed to be Vivek City. I'll get it to work. I'm just not paying attention. And that's uh, Bardow. That's supposed to be Alinor. This is supposed to be this uh, Alakir. This is supposed to be the Riften area with the cows and stuff. And then I have the train station and the train. And this is Solitude with a storm up top. And you can see that's the Blue Palace, obviously. And then this is Clockwork. So this is one of my more recent creations, but I have others um, that I have worked on. We're just going to run around like a couple of them while we're talking. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. Secondly, if you're running out of stuff to sell, I've noticed that you may want to lower your margins because uh, in terms of making a profit, a lot of the people who are doing the top sales in your in your guilds are kind of faking it. Just just know that. They're buying it at cost and reselling it at cost. So they're selling in huge volume, but they're not making a profit. They're just doing it to get their numbers up really high. So whenever you see somebody like for a contest, like a sales contest or something like that, and you see that they've meet met, met like 25 mil million or some crazy number. Um, generally, I would say that that is, those people are probably just selling at cost and taking in the loss so that they win the contest in the end. So that's something you can do if that's what you feel comfortable doing. Um, you're all talking about money for, for this stuff. So let me tell you what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I went, um, on my own to new Karst, the new place. And I went and I found within minutes of each other, a dwarven motif, which sells for like a grand, it's nothing. Then I found one of those dwarven lamps and this one sells for like 400K. And then I came out of it and I was riding around in, um, in, West, in Western Skyrim, just doing nothing. And I went to a, a Sigic portal and I pulled out gray, gray more pants. I sold them for 450,000 gold within minutes. So I made a lot of money yesterday, just generally following my own advice. And then I don't do those. See the night slayer. See, that's the, that's, oh, RNG. I thought you were talking about the no profit thing. Yeah, I don't do that. The no profit thing, I think, is I'd rather not sell anything than do selling at cost because I feel like it's, it's like kind of like confusing, taking advantage of a situation, not doing it the way you're supposed to. I wouldn't say it's cheating. I would say it's probably not the intention of the of the contests, but what do they care if they get the taxes from it, I guess. So if you're in um, Skyrim, hey, Megan Pie, I would always check these two spots here because they usually have something good. And then uh, make sure you, you get all of the uh, Citric portals. And by do one, one of the ways that you can ensure that is make sure you have Harvest Map on and hit up all of the enchanting points. Even if it doesn't necessarily pop for you when you come around the second time the more you do it the more chance you have of that happening and you'll notice that my harvest map is on now it's, i kind of leave it on all the time now if you're working on alts make sure you do the sigic line there's you can make so much money off of the sigic portals uh if you do it right so that's just my warning to you about money we had already looked at houses, so we're, uh, somebody asked me, how do you make money to support your, your habit? And generally, I did flipping. But in the last couple of weeks, it's gotten harder and harder to flip as people have been cutting their own profits to have enough stuff to sell. Uh, this first line is actually the beginning of the quest there in uh in somerset so you have to actually follow the main quest line until you get to legitimately go to to um arteum and once you go to arteum you can uh i think it's i forget which guy you have to talk to at that point but you have to get up on the main quest line until you get the the guy who talks to you the little skull and then you have to do his quests thank you for the follow and once you do those quests uh then you'll be able to see sigic portals actually i don't even think you have to finish those quests i think you just have to start them but i'm not sure but it's worthwhile i know it's a pain in the ass but think about this while you're doing it 
you might also be getting a decent amount of stuff just from questing, right? You know, you may not need to worry about it. So a lot of times what I'll do while looking for psychic portals is I'll run around and I'll just pop chests because um, you can get, when you destroy the stuff from it, you can always get, you know, mats and, and uh, style mats and fun stuff like that. But yeah, I do tend to drive around hitting up all of these otherwise empty spots. You can't go in this guy's house, but some, if you've already done the quest, but some of them you can. Some of them you can get away with, uh, but not this one. Sadness. So there's that. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to suggest to you that I often do is going to, hopping into and following people who are in good spots. So like, I love to do this. If somebody's in one of the tombs, uh, I would pop port to that, get that done real quick. But somebody's in Nuke and Thirst. That's your money maker right there, folks. Nuke and Thirst. Um, you don't even have to go through it and fight it. Go into that first room, and then uh, I'll, it's actually just super profitable if you do it all day long. Eventually, what you'll get is a loot cooldown, and you'll have to take a break from it for a little while so that your urns aren't all empty. But for the most part, it's it's worthwhile. And all you have to do is, is go to right click and port to player and you don't even have to walk there yourself. You can be lazy. Um, so that is what I would do to make money. Lately, I've been doing this. I've been selling the water been selling everything that drops really um so you you poured in you're at this little spot right here right there's nobody in here so all you have to do is walk you just loot everything with no one in here you don't have to fight anybody and this is a really good concentration of of uh urns in one spot Unfortunately, they're about half empty for me right now. Even though I didn't do a lot of loot, it is just being jerky to me. So they'll probably only be about half full. Um, but that is what you can do, is go around this turn like this. Oh, what did I get? Vampiric trunk, polished wood. Homebarian, thank you! Did you see what I just pulled? I pulled a vampiric... Uh, trunk just by porting into this front room and looting stuff that's all i did um so i have now a vampire plan yesterday i got a 400,000 gold plan for for dwarven stuff um so the idea is is that if you keep doing this eventually you're going to pull something good um then what you can do is if you are up to it there's usually two guys in here that you have to fight they're uh they're sentinels ah, i just got a dwemer dwemer maces he you're the sentinel all right this is going back towards the door if you can handle these guys which i'm sure most of you can um you can also add all of these to your list of ones to do. Now, I want to I want you to know the reason why I'm mostly telling you this is because I'm a potato and I can't fight this place alone. I've tried. It's a fail. I, I can't do it. I I some of my friends are like, "Oh my god, I'm so bad and I can do it." And I'm like, "Yeah, I suck." Um I just can't. Sell the waters, they're worth a decent amount. And then once you've looted all the way up to the door, there's sometimes two little wheelie guys come up after you, but you can kill them. They're easy. All by themselves. If you separate people out, it's fine. It's the groups that get me. Um, but yeah, I yesterday I got all sorts of goodies doing this. I did this like three times and I got that crazy pattern. 
always carry your potions with you, your seven gold potions or however many gold potions so that you can uh, invis go invisible because what we're gonna show you is how to extend your little foray into stuff that you otherwise can't do. Um, see these guys? Watch this. I'm gonna put my stealth potion on. I'm gonna get it right close to them. Take my potion. Just keep on running. Yes, the scraps delve, which is something I can do. And I'm just gonna keep running until I reach right here and there it's where it runs off. And I don't have to fight those guys. If someone comes through and kills them for me, great. I'm a potato, I've tried killing them. They just slaughter me. I'm terrible. And that gives you another couple of rooms that you can do with no mobs. So here you are, once you've run past those, you have these rooms that you can do without any fighting. And that's, is your arrow quiver a water pitcher? Yes, it's, uh, it is. Thank you for the follow guys. Uh, I will never ask you for money ever. Don't want your money. I'm, I really want your follows though. It just means the world to me. Um, yes, it is definitely a water pitcher. It's called, it's Cadwell's from his set. It's just the normal motif that, that drops. I have Cadwell's, uh, cause it's goofy and it's got soup ladles, see? Giant ladles as my, if there's anything that anyone knows about me is that I am goofy and I enjoy my goofiness. So yes, I embrace the goofy. Very much so. And then you can go up this part, and this part here has more. Um, you can't take yourself seriously. Take yourself too seriously and, and life's gonna hurt you. I am always good at making fun of myself. Oh, I got a lead! I got Seed of the Snow Prince. I can have another seat. Look at that. This has become very profitable and I haven't even had to really fight. So you do this and allow me to show you my next trick. This is not something that I necessarily recommend because the truth is, is that it's a, it's terrible, honestly. It's like a terrible idea. Don't do it. But I, I tend to, uh, speed through these next couple areas and run across essentially to the other side. Now, I don't know yet whether or not this is the most sensible way to do this. This is Nukin Thirst. Um, new Shun, New, yeah, can't pronounce it. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, and uh, I've been doing good um, in here. Again, no mobs right here, so you've got this room too, you can clear out. It's an easy dungeon. Um, I, I don't I don't have a nickname for it yet. Again, more rooms, just nothing to kill. That thing just runs by, he doesn't ever attack you. Yes, and that's what I was gonna get at. Um, typically, what I will do, excuse me while I grab this chest is I will be very careful over here. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, yes, eat you then karst. All right, we're gonna run through. And what I do is when the potion runs out, I jump off the cliff. There's a reason why I jump off the cliff. It actually makes sense and it's actually profitable. Uh, so now I'm gonna run. Doop -a -doop -a -doop run. I'm not going to fight any of this stuff because I can't. And typically what I do is I jump off this cliff here onto that mushroom. I missed. But there's usually a chest right here. And you can grab that chest and then you keep running. Just keep running, right? This is for people who can't fight this or people who have zero patience like me. Both can be true. And then you go up here. All you're doing is following the pathway to the centerpiece here. 
And then I would hold off on using your potion until you, until you absolutely last chance can. And now nobody's following you. And you can loot the ship out of this section. You assume I talked to Kira. I didn't. And that you're in the centerpiece now. The centerpiece has tons of stuff to loot. Uh, you shouldn't run into them anymore. Now. There should be no one now, as long as you're careful. There's, there shouldn't be anyone who will eat you. You should be safe now. You, all you had to do was run through to this section and you're safe. No one can, no one can eat you anymore. So, what you're gonna do is, I tend to go, uh, counterclock, no, count, clockwise. Clockwise. No, it's this chick in here, and I'm not fighting her. As long as you don't go in the middle, you're fine. They're fighting them. If you wanted to jump in, you probably could, but I don't get bothered. Yeah, it, I think it's a she, isn't it? I don't know. You don't have to go in it. You just stay around the corners. Go around the corners and loot all the things. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, you know, people are all doing that, but I'd rather loot stuff and get a chance of... See? They're all fighting him, but I don't have to. I don't know why I thought it was a she. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just my brain saying I thought it was a she. And you can loot all this stuff. Yeah, you sure could, but I don't really have any patience for it. Um, and then keep going. If they're fighting it, I mean, you could, but... I have enough skill points that I'm not even using. And then in these downward sections, you can still go down and get the stuff on the sides. That's why there's, in, if you can handle it, running through from where you start here, if you take this exit here and run all the way through to here, that's where you start. You can loot the shit out of this place. Then what I would recommend after that is uh, going to the scraps, which is just a regular delve. It's easy enough to kill in there and you can loot that. And oh, nice dude. And then you can do it again and you can do it until you loot lock, which is to say, eventually you're gonna port into these places and they're gonna have zero, like nothing lootable. And that's because you're loot locked. And if you wait long enough, it will clear. But that's how I do it. Uh, I apologize if I'm redoing some of these. It's because my memory is shot. Trying not to have a shot memory, but unfortunately, it's just how it goes. And up we go. And we do the whole thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Every little follow gets me closer to my goals. And then you should just do this and you get rich. That's all. Do it till you get rich. If you're not if you're not rich yet, you're not done yet. And don't worry about going too close to here. As long as you don't cross that line, nothing's there. Nothing in there is going to eat you. They do, it doesn't come out and get you. I have found. Um, but you got to be careful down here because you don't want to go running on that bridge because there are two centurions usually right there. We're lucky that they've been taken out. But generally, don't go running on the bridge unless you can handle your... I don't know. I'm still doing it. What does that mean? I guess, I guess no one, I don't know. Well, I have, as long as you don't cross, 
as long as you don't attack uh attract them you're fine just don't go too far on the bridge and it won't see you yeah i don't want to aggro anything and then i think that's it except for one more loop and this should be where you started or one away from where you started i can never remember no one away from where you started you're almost done and then uh you go to town and you sell off the waters the lock picks are worth selling if you don't have enough stuff in your slots um obviously the uh the style mats are nice that's it you just did it it's done All done. And then you look for somebody else in either the scraps or see, that's that's how you get the new you can nerf nerf nerf. Nerf 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 karst. That's my new name for it. Nerf 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 karst. And then uh you can look for other little places like if no one's in the scraps, you can always do Let's see if anybody's anywhere good. I'll pu publish this one as a, a video. In a quickie video on how to do this one pretty fast and get your stuff. Nobody's in the scraps. Sadness. You could always just walk to the scraps, but who would do that? Not me. All right, I'm going to call it. Uh, let me drop y'all off with somebody. Unless you have questions. You could always do one more house. Let me do one more house. Let's do one more house, shall we? Once I land. You don't want me to put the video out? I can I cannot put the video out if that's what you want. I just like to help people. If you really don't think I should do it, I won't. Absolutely. I I still am planning on doing that for you folks. Moon sugar. Didn't we? Your observatory is done. Oh good. I have other people's houses to look at. Did they? Well, I mean, if you don't want me to put it out. Oh, Megan, I'm so sorry. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. That hurts. I, uh, I have like, I usually have like 600 as a backup. Because I'm the big old nerd. Whoa, where are you going? All right, so we've got pathing. This is Sparrowhawk's home. And a new gate, which looks lovely. And a new bridge that looks lovely. Wow, you really have been working on it. This looks great. So these are with the gazebos. Yes, drops are on. Drops are on. If you uh, like housing, if you like stealing, if you like making money, please give me a follow. And I most, I much, much, much appreciate it. It gets me one step closer to my goals, but I'll never ask you for money and I don't care if you sub or not. So don't feel, I'll never do a sub push or a sub anything. I just, all I ever need is follows. Thank you so much. Wow, is this your... Oh, that could be a real door if you wanted. Ah, I like your little uh, clockwork thing here. Thank you so much, Ciro, Cyrano and Arale. Much appreciated. And uh, Zilara, I'm sorry if I'm slaughtering your names. That looks like a good window. It is a beautiful walkway. And this is a cute little shop. 
I'm thinking they are because look at them. No, no, I see thatch. Maybe. Yeah, okay, then they are, yeah. Hmm. And then we've got a little fire over here. Well, you know, they're really leaning towards going bigger in items. It's because, uh, and I've said this before, and I really truly believe it. I think that the, the housing devs, aside from the lead, I think the housing devs are really on our side about wanting to increase slots and sent, you know, item slots because we're in such a shitty situation with that. But because we keep getting told no, uh, they're giving us larger pieces as a way around the not having the slots. Because in the olden days, to make a roof, you would have to use all the planks or you would have to use, you know, for flooring, you would have to use all the, you know, stuff like this or whatever. By giving us larger pieces, including we're getting a full roof um, st uh, at some point, that is a real help. Oh, look, this is the Flalu, uh, whatchamacallit, shed. We're getting a real roof. A full roof so you know we, we that saves how many items I want to point something out to you about money see this sucker you can buy the uh, I think it's in it's in the one that I own the Aldvalothi if you buy Aldvalothi it comes with this shed and it comes with a well it also comes with siller stone um, rock like stands you can sell all of those for decent money because they don't come from any other place other than um buying it amaya and i think buying uh the other one too the amaya and alvalothi so well other way around but then you can sell them for a profit and not really spend all that much on those two houses and here's the the Flalu well that comes with Alvalothi. And again, you can sell this and make some money back because these are pretty rare because of the fact that they only come that way. I think they look good, but you know, I don't blame Sparrowhawk for wanting to use them because I mean, they're essentially free items that come with your house. But I like to sell them off because I'm like, I like money. And I'm a horrible person, so. I like money. Lots and lots of money. Although I blew a ton of money this weekend on the, on the, uh, Lux Vendor. This is lovely. It's a wiggly broccoli. They really do. They really made a huge difference. Now, I love that. Using the roofs, uh, they use the, the tents from Khajiit tents as roofs. And they make these beautiful arches that look almost Asian or as something like that. It's just spectacular. It looks great. And then putting the lights on the end. Oh, that's really smart. Very nice. And I think it looks really good. That's fun. Um, and then we've got an elsewhere floor and boards for the walls and we've got a little open section here this is a town i mean i love towns i would say that towns are probably my favorite build this guy's just gonna go zooming by again with the lean twos you can make a little house this is like a little thatched cottage with real lean to in the back and this one again a little cottage that's a good way of faking doors with a rug. And then we have like a little shed over here. Very nice. Very nice. Cute little village. I like it. Um, did I miss this one? I think I missed this one. I think I went in the backyard. I didn't go in the... F no, I did. Okay. So that should be everything. Very nice. Uh-oh, I'm going to get eaten by a panther. All right, Swank Switch House, did you say it was? Very nice, Sparrowhawk. I love villages. They're my favorite builds. 
and here's the roof you can use repeatedly if you want to have that angled look that some Khajiiti houses have that is what I would do is go with that it's essentially like using the Breton sides of things for walls you know you just grab that piece observatory okay we're going to Swankery's or Observatory. Thank you for letting me see this. Oh. You know, I hate this name. It says, Sothis Gill's designation of this mountaintop laboratory as the observatory prior clearly indicates that the site was an experimental or test version of what he had in mind, though whether he ever built an observatory final is unknown. I don't think that the name observatory prior is really what that was intentionally meant to be. A prior is a priory. It is an actual thing. Let me pull up the word. I think that whoever wrote the flavor text uh, it's a small monastery or nunnery that is governed by a prior or prior rest. So it's like if if he's a god that may whoa whoa <laughs> Jesus we're in a fishbowl That was unexpected and hilarious. Oh my God, that completely blew my mind. Oh man, that's funny. Those of you who don't know, that's EHT right there. I am fish food, holy shit. I really am. And that's the, we're at the bottom of the tank in here. That's funny. You got me. I was, I, I probably had the exact reaction you wanted me to have. I don't think you can go in here. Can you? Are you meant to? I think that's hilarious. I feel like we're in a tank. I love it. And we have a little bit of a Merkmeyer thing going on here. Interesting. I would have never thought to combine Merkmeyer with clockwork, but looks good. No, not the first. I have had two others. Um, there was Monkfist had a, when you first scroll it, come into his house, he had the witch head literally like in your face. And there was one other and I forgot which it was, but... It actually really scared me. I was not expected. Look at that chandelier. Wow. I, I gotta admit, I never would have thought to combine these two, but it looks lovely. You're using a lot of things upside down. I think you're trying out different things and I think that's interesting and I like it. What it, okay. Thank you so much for the follow. Look at this poll here. Not to make a big deal out of a little detail, but I will. Notice how the bottom of it is the, is the centered stone and then the top of it is a Merkmar pole. So essentially what you have here is, it is a representation in, in miniature of what is going on in the entire house. You have clockwork and Ergonian combined, not Merkmeyer, I meant to say Ergonian. So you have them combined. It's really just like a miniature detail that shows exactly what's going on in the house. And it may, maybe it wasn't intentional, but it's, I, I appreciate it for what it was. And this is a great centerpiece. No, no, I'm not, please, I wish. I need a thousand follows in order to be stream team, and I, I don't have that. I think I'm in that 700 still. Sadness. 
but I'm begging people. I'm like, please follow me, please. Um, but no, everybody has drops enabled right now for ESO, so no, I'm not so lucky. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a modern art picture. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, that's probably because UESP dropped off a whole ton of them on me. Much appreciated. They, uh, they are, I usually drop stuff off on them, so it's a little bit of, you know, streamers support each other. Streamers try to help each other out as much as possible. Um, even when I forget, I do mean to help out, you know? And we've got a beautiful little sunroof garden. I really like this. I, I can't imagine. What what made you think of Argonian and and uh, Clockwork together? Like, what, what inspired that? I'm really curious to know. Ah! I fell in. Oh, there's stuff in here anyway. Oh, no! You're going to kill the crab. Upside down, he can't flip. Poor guy, I want to rescue him. It is beautiful. Lots of creativity in the swankeries. All right, let's see if I can get back to the front and try the downstairs or the upstairs. I forget which we're up to. Oh, tell me about it. I think we all had a lot of pain this weekend at the block center. Better than carcasses. Don't worry. Surely enough, they will, uh, they will return to carcasses and dead things and torture, and then we won't want it again. So, you know, we're all right. Oh, okay. Well, that works. I think it does a really good job. And you blocked off the other floor, right? I'm not an idiot. Amazing. Bah! These fish are still freaking me out. I love it. You know, Swank, I kind of want you to make one of your traditional, one of your amazing fish tanks. I totally want to see you make a make this into a fish tank. And let me, let me show people what I mean. Sankery is the best at, at fish tanks. And I think it would be really awesome if you just went for it with this view as if we're inside a fish tank bowl, fish bowl. And I'll show you what she's done before. And I think she should do it on large, like a, do a large version because she even has clockwork as the background in here, I think. I could be wrong. Thank you so much for the follows, folks. Come on, load it up. There we go. So this is what she does with fish tanks, which are amazing. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, she has lots of fishy tanks. And then this one. This is, this. I guess it wasn't clock rock, rock, clockwork in the background, but this is just amazing. Okay, so this, I think you should do this. Totally do this with with our observatory. It could be fun. It would be blast. I don't know. I just I would love it. That is fun. Thank you so much. I I love looking at your new stuff. All right. I think that might be it. Yeah. All right. So who's on? Who's on? Who's Johnny? She said. And smiled in her special way. Okay, hold on. Because my neck hurts and I need lunch and I have leftover pizza. All right, let's see. Who are we going to raid? Er, is anyone doing ESO right now that you guys like that you would like me to raid. Um, I'll listen to you. 
Oh, yeah, I did your house today. If anyone has a friend or someone who they like, I will be happily, I will raid them. I loved it. I did a whole big spiel on how great it was. You have talent, and I like you. A lot. All right. Since nobody has any suggestions, I'm going to drop you off with Hammy. Uh, well, he's not even on yet. Let's. Lucky Ghost TV? You got it. Let me see if I can transfer them. Are they playing EU? I mean, are they playing, uh... Lucky Ghost TV. Oh, Elder Scrolls. Okay. We're starting. Let's go. Thank you for the suggestion. Have fun, folks. And off we go.